Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Kyle here, back with another video, and I'm gonna be trying to explain how to do Lil Peep type vocals in like five minutes. I recorded this video just then and stopped recording, and I watched like 10 seconds of it and realized how boring and dead I sounded. So, um, this is the second time recording this, and I'm gonna try and make this a lot faster. Okay, so that's enough of that and here so i have a software instrument so after you've imported your beat and you've made your depressing sad lyrics this is just a joke song i made with my mates but i thought it would be good to use this as an example here we go so if you open up uh, any midi keyboard you've imported the software matched up the tempo so um you're still gonna want to find the key so the key for this is and you just play all the keys until you find which ones work and then you want to know the first three steps of the minor scale so this would be um a whole half whole whole i think it is so in this case the only where i'm um, placed here is d sharps whole half whole Whole. If you don't get what that meant, then it doesn't really matter. You can use other ways to find out the key of a song. But for the auto tune I was using for this, I needed to do that. So we had D sharp minor, and then this is my first take. So this was a freestyle, but you're just going to want to have some slow, hard hitting lyrics for when you do the peep bit. And this just has a high end automation on it. So. so it, the first things you'll notice is it has a lot of not reverb but it has a little bit of reverb that's probably that's kind of important with this i noticed if i use too much reverb it completely ruined the effect it has a lot of compression and you're going to want to have high ends removing the low ends you can pretty much copy this so the reason you want to do this is because when peep sings is like classic style of voice it's very high end and it has a lot of layers which is the two main things for this as well as the auto tune, so I usually like to when I'm doing peep, um, make it in minor. So here we have I just imported D sharp minor, and this will change varying on which uh, pitch correction you use. But this is the one I chose for this, and with stock Logic ones, it's even easier to do. So it doesn't really matter, but have a lot of auto tune. And as you can see, this doesn't sound this good on its own. I don't know if I went off key or if it just made me go off key, but the auto tune actually corrected it to the wrong note, which is a good example because it doesn't matter. That's the main thing with making peep vocals. You just don't, you need to be in the right mood set where you just don't care. Either be drunk or do it when nobody else is around, but you need to have that mentality to just be loud and not care if you stuff up because if you do, you have like 10 other layers to save you. So the next important thing after the channel strip settings, and you can have a look at that if you want, and maybe I'll even release it if someone asks, um, is the layering. This is the most important part about a pip vocal, and this was a freestyle, so it got a bit hard to get it exactly right. But as you can see, as you start layering it up, if you have that high end, all the imperfections start adding together and i just redid this exact thing over and over again maybe sounding a little bit different but you're going to want to try it, get it spot on and without all the effects and stuff it, it might still sound like there's just three layers of your vocal but the end goal is to kind of have it like people don't really notice that there's layering even though some people may clearly notice but yeah, so the more you layers you add, the more it will sound like one voice, and that's really what you're looking for. And with my vocal, I only need to do, do it five times, and usually by the third one, you'll pretty much know what you're saying. But if you have lyrics on a phone, it's even easier. And, oh yeah, another tip I'd give is if you are reading off a phone, try and memorize it before you say it so you're not reading off a phone, because your lyrics will never come out as well if you're just reading them on a phone, because there's going to be no, like sorry no emotion in what you're saying and the only reason there is in this is because i was really drunk so and have it be really loud as well that's another important thing 
and yeah i'm pretty sure that's it it's really simple once you like know what you're doing it's mainly layering and confidence and with being loud like it doesn't matter if you stuff up I, i'll even show you what i sound like with no effects on my voice it sounds terrible Ew, man. What a fucking can. What a fucking can. like i was being very loud it, it sounds a bit quiet here but i was actually being very loud and i don't care that it sounds bad because that's the magic of editing. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll let this play one more time. And if you have any questions, please ask me and let me know if there's someone else you want me to do a vocal tutorial on. So thank you guys. Like,